Okay, good afternoon, grade 9 students. I apologize if I need to have a recorded discussion right now than having a collaborative uh, discussion with you. And I hope I hope you understand, okay? But I don't, uh, don't worry, everyone. Since if you have some questions or clarifications, just let me know, okay? Just message me na lang po. Thank you. Nasa Zoom pa rin naman ako. Okay, so let's start. So this, sorry. So this is our learning target for today. First one is you can identify the different classifications of appetizers. And then you can plan and submit a recipe proposal for your appetizer performance task. So to achieve that one, we have here our work plan. First one, I would like to discuss to you muna, no? isingit ko muna si WDP number two natin, okay? Kasi meron tayong changes about that one. And then a discussion of classifications, then PT and product task, followed by I will discuss to you what we're going to do for the recipe proposal, then wrap up. Okay, so first one regarding um, our WDP, please po disregard the WDP details that we discussed last meeting. Instead, you are just going to resubmit the activity from your AP teacher. So at least, uh, hindi na masyadong madaming activities ang gagawin nyo. E parehas lang naman ng point. Okay? Magsasubmit lang naman kayo ng picture of your food na uh, pinrepair nyo for the tanghali ang Pinoy. So, yun lang naman, no? I just found it very redundant if pati ako magpapagawa pa sa inyo ng iba. Okay? So, I hope kahit pa paano nakatulong yun, eto, okay, makales man lang kahit pa paano sa mga activities na sinasubmit niyo. So, yun lang. My request is um pag i-resubmit nyo na lang siya sa ating Quipper essay, Cookery Quipper essay. So, nag-assign na po ako sa ating Quipper essay. You can just check it right now. So, open your Quipper essay. Nandoon po yun. Cookery, tanghali ang pino. Resubmit nyo lang po itong file na to. Okay, save it in a JPEG or PNG file, a picture file. Okay, then just forward or just submit that one to me. Okay, as easy as that. Wala nang masyadong explanation. Wala na masyadong ilalagay. So, it is just uh, the activity of AP. It's just a picture of your food, right? Okay. So, I hope that is clear and I hope kahit pa paano is good news for you. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. Now, uh, still, since um, October 29 is a academic break na so, okay lang po ba na ang deadline natin is ginawa kong Thursday para hindi naman masyadong aabutin pa after a week pa. Okay, so that will be on October 28th. That is October 28th, Thursday po. Since ang gagawin nyo lang naman is to resubmit the activity na sinubmit nyo rin sa AP. If that's okay with you. Okay, yun lang naman po. Thank you so much. I hope you understand. And then after this one, let us have our discussion of the classification of appetizers because this is the lesson that we've, uh, we missed before ko i-discuss sa inyo ang ating performance task. Okay, but anyway, all of the information here naman is makikita nyo rin sa ating Quipper Learning Package. But at least somehow we, uh, we discussed this topic. Okay, so the first one for the classification of appetizer, let us just define first, again, what is the appetizer? So these are small pieces of portions or portions of food, okay? It is a highly seasoned food, very flavorful, and usually served before a meal to induce and stimulate one's appetite. It gives relish to the food we eat, okay? So a good... A good appetizer, whether hot or cold appetizer, should be light and served in a small quantity. Okay, it's like fresh. Uh, it can be also fresh vegetable and the salads, fruits, or meat, or even fish can be made into appetizer as long as 
the characteristic of it is a small quantity or small serving. Okay. So the first classification of appetizer is what we call the cocktail appetizer. It is not the cocktail, the term cocktail na nasa isip nyo na parang uh, liquid, liquid food. Okay, it's not just like that. Okay, or beverage. Okay, hindi lang siya ganun. So cocktail appetizer usually consists of shrimps. Ayan, mga shellfish. Shrimps, mm, lobster, crab, meat, shellfish, fruits as well. As, as well as fruit and vegetables, juices. Okay, so they are generally served chilled, malamig, and could be in a liquid form, such as fruit juices, okay, like what I said earlier, with small cuts of fruits, or a solid, more on seafood siya, more on seafood, and when it comes to solid, it is more on seafood component, okay, usually placed on bed of crushed ice. They must be fresh in appearance and arranged attractively to have an eye appeal. Okay, or appealing to the eyes of the one who is eating the appetizer. So we have different classifications of cocktail appetizer. So as what you can see here, we have first one, the oyster and clams on the half shell. Okay, so very fresh. Okay. And then that was prepared or um, placed in the crust of ice. And then shrimps, we have shrimps here, lobsters also, crab meat. Yeah, so we also have fruits, fruit juices, and fish meat kasama din po yan. So as you can, so as what you can observe here in our cocktail appetizers, they are placed mostly in a cocktail glass. So like this one, shrimp, lobster, hindi nga lang po yung picture ko, no? pero I think you can visualize it naman. The crab, fruits, and the fish meat. Okay, so ang nagkaiba lang is, eto kasi for the oyster and clams on the half shell, it was place in a crushed ice okay bed of crushed ice okay so next one we have also an appetizer salad so for the appetizer salad from the word itself it the component of it is a salad okay it is light and the small portion salads served as first course of the meal Okay, it has a primary purpose of stimulating an appetite also. That is why it is commonly served first prior to the main dish okay, or first course of the meal. So this salad can be cooked or a non-cooked variant of food. Okay. And then we also have, this is, this word is familiar to you, the hors d'oeuvre. Okay, actually, I have corrections in my Kuiper learning package. So, ang, may correction ako sa spelling doon. Hindi ko na double check. Pasensya na. This is the correct spelling of hors d'oeuvre. Nauna si O. Okay, O-E-U-V-R-E-S. Okay, yung nasa learning package na kasi that is E, E O U ang nakalagay. Okay, so please correction po, this is the correct spelling of hors d'oeuvre. Okay, and it is usually served as a food at cocktail parties involving alcoholic beverages. Okay, and also, di ba, the hors d'oeuvre, it is not literally also, correction also, it is not literally a translation in French for the English word appetizer. But it is one type of appetizer. They serve the same purpose to stimulate an appetite. Okay, this is usually served as a food at cocktail parties involving alcoholic beverages when the guests have just arrived at of the uh, for example, at a venue, okay, or a party, they're typically coming from some place else and they are hungry. So rather than feed them a big meal immediately upon arriving or upon arrival in the event, appetizers fulfill the need for some food while they can also stand around talking with the friends uh, and family before the main meal. So they, they, still, they still have time for mingling with others, okay? And we have, we can classify 
the hors d'oeuvre into hot hors d'oeuvre and cold hors d'oeuvre. Okay, for the dishes of hot hors d'oeuvre, they are served between soup and fish courses. Yung mga cold hors d'oeuvre, they should stimulate, still stimulate appetite and therefore should always be served the first course in the menu. Okay, yun lang yung medyo, uh, that's the only difference between the two. Okay, so under the cold order, we still have the classifications of it. It can, it can be served as a plate of hors d'oeuvre. This one, okay, the first picture, the plate of hors d'oeuvre may consist of shrimps, smoked beef, poached eggs, sardines, lettuce, yan. So sauce can be served at the side. Then this one, the grison platter. Wrong spelling. Grisom yan. Grisom platter may consist of two kinds of cold meat. Okay, such as ham or uh, smoked beef, peppered ham. Yan. Sauce can be served at the side also. Then we also have the hors d'oeuvre platter. So a platter dish and a well-presented platter with a limited choice of simple or more expensive food. So as what you can see in the picture. The basic rule here in the hors d'oeuvre platter is small quantity, small serving, but big in quality. Okay? And all the same time, attractively served. Okay. So for the, sec uh, for the fourth one, assorted hors d'oeuvre. It can be served in special portion platters with dishes or even from a serving cart. Okay, maraming, maraming kang choices. Okay, so yun yung assorted hors d'oeuvre natin. And rich hors d'oeuvre, rich in flavor, still a classical form of presentation. So, hindi mawawala sa rich hors d'oeuvre, the lobster should always be included on that. Okay, kaya nga rich. Medyo mahal lang lobster. <laughs> okay, so that's that's for the hors d'oeuvre. Then we also have the canopy. So yung mga pinakita ko sa inyong video last time, uh, may mga, yung mga former student ko and last year, canopies lang po ang pinagawa ko. Okay? But unlike sa performance task nyo, you have a lot of choices. That's why we have also, uh, it is really important also for us to discuss the classifications of appetizers. So yeah, let's go back here for the canapes. For the canapes, they are tiny open-faced sandwich of bite size and usually high flavored of uh, tangy food. Okay, or uh, high flavored or tangy food or appetizers, okay? Now, um, why did I choose that if na canapé lang? Kasi if uh, you can simply kung ano yung available ingredients nila kasi sa bahay, di ba? Lalo na't kasagsagan noon ng lockdown and super hirap lumabas to buy some ingredients. So kung ano ang available, canapé is... Uh, Flexi naman, very flexible when it comes to the combination of ingredients, okay? No specific uh, recipes. Wala ako masyadong specific recipes na pinagawa sa kanila. So kung anong available, basta it consists of three parts. It consists of... Uh, three parts of the canapé, my base, my spread, my garnish. So that is a canapé, a small serving and different types. Okay, so yon. Kaya, kaya ko pinili na canapé lang yung last year. But for this for this year, for you students, I know naman um, since we can plan ahead three weeks before the submission, so I think mas makakapag-prepare kayo. Okay, at least mas malawak din yung uh, sources ninyo, yung resources ninyo, mas malawak yung mga ideas na pwede yung pagpilian for your performance task. Okay, but sige, let's go back here muna sa canopy. Pero pwede nyo pa rin naman piliin si canopy, ha? Okay, so for the canopy, we have the three main parts of it. Base, spread, and as well as the topping or garnishing. Okay, so for the base, let's start with the base. 
Yan. The base holds the spread and the garnish. So crackers and toast are firmer and give a pleasing texture and crispness to the canapé. So at these are the suggestions for the base. Pwede siyang mga bread cutouts, toast cutouts, crackers. Ayan, fita. The best. Remember the ano, commercial ng fita na may mga nilalagay silang topping sa fita. Something like that. Ayun, that is one of the example of canapé. Okay. Okay, a melba toast or simply a toast. Okay, it can be tortilla chips and sweetened pastry shells. If kaya nyo, why not, right? Tiny biscuits. Ayan. And miniature pancakes can be also your base for your canopy. And then for the spread naman, and the spread placed on the top of the base so the garnish sticks to it without falling off. Okay? So for the spread, um, it depends on you. It can be flavored butter um, made of so, mga softened butter with flavorings na pwede nyo siyang haluan ng kahit ano. Okay? It can be also flavored cream cheese. So any flavor that you want. Okay, made from flavored butters, except cream cheese, substitute for the butter also. And mixture of cream and butter can also be used. Okay, meron din, it can be meat or fish salad. Um, the base here is mayonnaise spread. Okay, di ba usually yung sa mga meat or fish salad? Yung mga chicken spread, egg, uh, egg spread, egg mayonnaise, something like that. Okay. So, ayun. Actually, it depends on your taste and your, on your preferred taste for your canopy. And then, the last one is the garnish. So, for the garnish, it is any food item or combination of items placed on the top of the spread, which usually gives color and design and texture or flavor accent to the canopy. So, what you, uh, you can see here in the picture. Okay? So, remember, we have three parts of the uh, important three parts of the canapé, the base, the spread, and the last is the garnish. Okay? So, let's move on with the last type of the appetizer. We have relishes. Okay? So, this includes um, fresh fruits and vegetables, carrots, lettuce, cucumber sticks, turnips, radish, celery, okay, mga black olives, again, and Peanuts also in chips can be included on that one. Okay. And relishes is uh, one of the easiest uh, appetizer dish na pwede nyong gawin. Okay. So, hindi siya ganun ka komplikado gawin since it's a cut of fresh fruits and vegetables yun, uh, with paired with dips. Okay. So, we have two types. Raw vegetables with dips. We call that, or they are also known as crudité. Okay, when we said cru, C R U in French, it means raw. Okay, so in French, it is called crudité. So common bite-sized cut raw vegetables served with dips. Yeah, actually, a lot of vegetables na pwedeng gamitin. So yung mga dips, it is accompaniment to raw vegetables and sometimes potato, potato chips and crackers also. Then any mixture of spreads can be used as dips. Okay, so proper consistency is important also to any dip. So it must not be so thick uh, that, ca that it cannot be scooped up without breaking the cracker or the vegetable cuts. Okay, and also Another one, pwedeng maging dip si mayonnaise. Ayan. And other salad dressings, pwede din. Okay? Other sauces and can be used as dips. Yun. Okay. So, we also have last one is the pickled items under relishes. So, it includes variety of items like cucumber pickles, olives, watermelon pickles, pepper, um, what else? Mga preserved or any preserved fruits and vegetables. Actually, si achara is one type also or na pwede natin include as an appetizer. Okay? Because it is a pickled item. Okay, so for us to review the classification of appetizers, we have cocktail, cocktail appetizer, appetizer salad, hors d'oeuvre, canopies, and relishes. Okay, I hope. If there's any question, please feel free to message me. 
or to call my attention na lang. Nandito rin ako sa Zoom. Okay. So, I hope everything is clear regarding the appetizer. Ano? So, I we can review now. Are ready now? So, we can review our performance task details as well as the product task. Diba medyo nagkulang tayo sa time for the product task? Okay, sige. So, let's have a review for the product task. So, ayun. This is the summary for the content of your video. Video tutorial. So, ito yung mga dapat yung tandaan na meron sa inyong, sa content ng inyong video. The first one, kailangan na observe nyo si food safety. Second one, observe miss and plus. Third one is in-house evaluator. Um, somehow is in a few seconds, kahit na kahit in a few seconds na pakilala nyo sino ang in-house evaluator nyo, yung guardian ninyo. I repeat, it can be your mommy, your daddy, tita, or tito. Okay, as long as students, nasa bahay po kayo. Ha? Hindi po kayo pupunta sa bahay ng classmates or hindi kayo makikicollaborate with your classmates. I hope you grab this opportunity so you can have a family bonding at home. Okay, actually maraming good um, good feedback from grade 9 student parents dati. Okay, last year na yun, ginrab nila yung opportunity na yun to have a bonding with their child. Okay, I hope kayo din. Okay, and I hope ma-enjoy nyo yung moment na to. Okay, so I repeat, hindi po kung saan-saan gagawin ng activity na to. Please just stay home. Uh, yun pa rin naman ang ating priority and concern to stay at home. Okay, you can do this one at home. Definitely. And then, what else? Next one. Yes, of course, procedure and process nandun yan. Hindi maman mawawala yan. And the last, or the second to the last part is you should show the plating and garnishing. And lastly is the food tasting. Okay? Nang inyong in-house evaluator or pwede family members. Like what you saw nung pinakita ko sa inyong video. Remember? Okay. Diba? They look so happy on the video kay Christine as well as kay Erich. Ayun, sana natandaan nyo pa sila. Okay, next one. For the product task, it is simply a food magazine cover. So actually, sabi ko nga sa inyo, madali na lang si product task pag nagawa nyo na si performance task. Kasi you are just going to take a photo of your final product. Then yung picture na yun ang gagamitin nyo to create a food magazine cover. Okay, I repeat, it is just a cover, hindi po ang um, buong magazine. Okay, so you may use any editing, editing platforms or app. It is up to you what will be the content of your food magazine cover. So you submit a JPEG or PNG file in our Google Classroom with the same deadline and our performance task. Okay, so I just have here some of, or a few examples from yung mga dating kong students. Ayan. So, ito yung mga sample na food magazine cover nila. Ayan. Ang pinagawa ko pa dito is the food plating and garnishing. The lockdown meals, yun pala. Lockdown meals pala, sorry. Ayan. So, yan. It's up to you kung ano yung ilalagay nyo yung title, whatsoever. Bahala kayo. Okay? Basta, uh, focus pa rin natin is yung mismo products din niya. Okay? Sige. So, the uh, product task is all in all 10 points. So, criteria, of course, the food magazine cover itself. Uh, showcasing your product. Kailangan po kita yung product, of course. It should be appetizing and appealing in appearance. Okay? So, because of our setup, hindi ko po, po ma-check ang taste. Okay? Kaya kailangan ko ng help ng inyong in-house evaluators. What I am, uh, what I will be evaluating is the appearance only of your final product. And then, 
advance or improved level of food presentation. So the student shows a lot of improvement in his or her skills in plating and garnishing based on the final product. So since gumawa na kayo ng inyong uh, plating and garnishing last year, nung grade 8 kayo, okay, so I, I am expecting more from it this year. Okay? And then, Ito yung i-rate sa inyong mga in, ng in-house evaluator nyo. The taste or the, pala, the palatability of the food and also overall presentation. Gandun pa rin yung i-evaluate pa din nila yung food plating and garnishing ninyo. Okay? Now, I just have some changes and clarifications regarding our schedule po ng ating uh, submission and also the product task or performance task making rather. Okay? So this week, week 7, tapos na tayo for the introduction of PT and product task. Ngayon is kina-clarify lang natin. Uh, our second target is to have you or for you to prepare a recipe proposal. Okay? Mamaya explain ko sa inyo yan. Then week 8, next week, feedbacking tayo for your recipe proposal as well as yung pagsasend ko ng rating form sa mga in-house evaluators nyo. So I need you to decide na next week. Okay? Mag-decide na kayo kung sino ang inyong in-house evaluator. Okay? Back kausapin nyo na si mommy or si daddy or any family member okay, na pwedeng tumulong sa inyo. Okay? Para at least, email po nila ang isisend nyo sa akin. So, directly, maisisend ko rin sa kanila yung kanilang rating forms. Okay po? I hope that is clear. Then, October 29, I, 29, I know, alam nyo na to, that that will be the start of your academic break. That's Friday. So, supposed to be quiz natin yun. ba? The, the first... Uh, instruction ko about that quiz natin na October 29 because but because of the changes in schedule move na lang natin si quiz okay magka-quiz tayo sa week 9 November 5 that is Friday okay I hope hindi naman masama <laughs> or wala naman masama ang loob na parang kakabalik nyo lang ng academic break or whatsoever lumipas naman na ang balik kayo ng November 3 o 3, 4 then 5 so, I think no more violent reaction about this. Okay lang naman. Okay. So, that will be quiz 2. Then, after that one, week 10 is deadline. November 12, Friday, that will be the deadline of your performance task and product task. Okay. So, dapat our target is next week, week 8, Dito sa October 26 na feedbacking on natin ng recipes ninyo is ang target ko is makapag-approve na ako lahat. Okay? Next. Sige. Since we are talking about the recipe proposal, let's move on for this slide. So that will be your recipe proposal. Can You, you can check now your Google Classroom in TVE Cookery. You can open it now. Meron po doong file I already attached a file doon ng inyong recipe proposal. I-edit nyo na lang po. Okay? So, submit to me a recipe, recipe proposal until Tuesday next week. So, ayun. In our Google Classroom. So, on Tuesday, I will be checking. Monday pa lang mag-check na ako ng mga recipes ninyo. If nakita nyo ang inyong recipe is already graded 100, it means approved na po yun. Okay, pero if I return that to you, walang grade, then magko-comment naman ako, don't worry. Okay, if magko-proceed na kayo or hindi. Okay, magko-comment ako if you are going to proceed na into cooking or you are you have you still have to submit to me another proposal or baka may mga counting revisions lang naman tayo. So yun lang naman yun. Okay, so this is still for approval. Then final checking of recipe is October 28. Okay, so I repeat. So if bumalik sa inyo ang inyong recipe by October 26, let's say, uh, give me time na lang siguro kahit gabi na. Okay, October 26, balik sa inyong yung, uh, recipe proposal but by that time, night. Uh, and then it's still for revision or for resubmission kung kailangan nyo pang mag-submit mag ulit. 
So, final checking ko, may time pa ako until October 28. So, by week 8, lahat na is approved or lahat na is settled na for uh, or with my go signal na to do your activity. Okay? So, once approved, you may do the cooking activity at home. Okay? So, ito lang naman yon Recipe name and then ingredients. Paki-breakdown ako ng ingredients dyan. Then, it should have measurements. Ha? Huh? And kung ilang servings yan. Then procedure tayo for the procedure. Yan, detailed din naman. And then, if possible na meron kayo mapakita mga sample picture of the product, why not para at least ma ma madali kong ma-visualize din. Okay? So, yun lang naman. As easy as that for the recipe proposal. Only one. Anak. And I repeat, it can be a local or an international recipe. Okay, it can be one type of the classification na dinescas natin kanina or other appetizer. Okay, as long as we fall under one category, sabi ko nga, it's it is still an appetizer. Okay, I hope that is clear. So the remaining time, I will give you the remaining time for you to search or to look for a recipe and to submit immediately your recipe proposals okay and i hope that is clear thank you once again everyone and if you still have questions feel free to ask me okay so please please gawin nyo na po ang ating recipe proposal in our remaining time okay and that's all thank you so much goodbye everyone